know, mainly it's for the judgmental in life. You know, it's that everybody, nobody has the same journey. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has the same journey. Um, everybody, everybody, your uh, purpose different. Everybody mission different. You know, uh, God's timing in everybody's life is different. Everybody that serves Him. Now, when you don't, you know what I'm saying? If you live in life on autopilot, you know, like with a reprobate mind or whatnot, then pretty much you're doing what you want to do, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if God don't know you, then you're doing what you want to do, you know. But I mean, when you're trying to live right, you got to understand that. Simple things that people that that that's that, that's already in Satan's hand, the simple things that that they find simple, like let's say house, homes, cars, even jobs, you know, simple stuff like that. When you follow in Christ, and you, you know you got an anointing on your life, then things like that not so simple, you know, because you you have to consider first you fight the flesh, then you fight the devil, then you fight in the world. Fighting all these enemies, um, it's not good, you know, and 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 all of them working against you, you know, and, and depending on your anointing and your purpose, you might have extra demons, and depending on the influence you can make on God's kingdom, you have even more demons, and and all these demons and evil trying to hold you back and they fight against you. Now they can't stop God's plan or God's plan or purpose for your life. Nothing can, you know. Nothing can keep anybody from God. You know, God is just the ultimate everything, you know. But it becomes a hindrance and a stumbling block, you know. And because to, like, people that's, that's looking through corner physical eyes, they, they look at they look at things, you know, kind of kind of selfishly or differently, you know, in, in a sense, because they look like, they looking at like, things according to time, you know. Time, like, they looking at things according to time. Like, why, you know, why, why this person ain't, Ain't at this point yet. Why this person ain't in this position yet? Why this person ain't did that? Why this person ain't like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, and they, and they measure their progress. You know, they degrade another person's progress by the progress of people that's nothing like them. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't you can't judge a Christian by the activities of a worldly person. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm going. At. And I ain't, and it's not judging nobody. It's not being judgmental, but it's speaking. It. It's being honest about. It. Being judged, you know, uh, you know, being judged for what we don't have and stuff. It's a reason we don't have it, and it's a reason you do have it. You know, God, God keeps things from, you know, God waits before He blesses the ones He loves. You know, and, and and that's and that's fine with me because that lets me know that God cares enough to pay attention to my life. You know, some people aren't living on the wing and the prayer. You know, you know, saying so they have to live with weapons and they have to do this. You know, what I'm saying like some people not cover under the blood of Jesus, but some people are, you know, and God shows mercy to whom he wants to show mercy to, and that's in the Bible, you know, no matter what nobody thinks, God is going to make his decision when you want to do it, you know, it don't matter who it is, if he, if he want to show you compassion, kindness, then he's going to do it, you want to spend your life, you're going to do it, even if you did a bunch of evil stuff, he still will, you know, but I'm saying though, you know, Everybody got everybody in different positions in different places. You don't owe nobody no explanation for your journey and your race and where you at. You know what I'm saying? Unless you living, you living a life trying to um, appeal, you know, to other people or for something. That's a different story. But when you're not and you focus solely on God, your dreams, and those who love you, you know, then it doesn't matter because you're not trying to you're not trying to impress nobody. You know, you just you trying to get established and you trying to fight your spiritual battles. You know, with, with, with the best way you can. You're not worried about getting $100 shoes. You know, you're not worried about, you know, getting big mansions and stuff on the hills. You know what I'm saying? To impress women. You know what I'm saying? Or, or to appeal to brothers or other people. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not the prerogative. Like, that's not the main goal. And if that's not the main goal, then then it don't it doesn't it doesn't apply to you. You get what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. Like, it don't apply to us if we trying to walk in the light. Stuff like that don't matter. You know, so we shouldn't be a judge according to stuff like that. What we don't have, material things, material circumstances. In the spirit world, there is no time. You know, time don't exist in the spirit world. So, when we in the light, and we trying to live in the light and live right, and we live in the court.
according to the spiritual world. And so that's where I'm at mentally, you know. That's where I feel like a lot of us should be mentally. Like, it's not about impressing nobody or trying to get caught up with somebody else or trying to progress, you know, or trying to risk your success or anything like that with nobody else. And don't limit and don't label your success according to nobody else, you know. It's because cause everybody got different journeys, like I said before. You know, um, where this person at, then that's where they at. Where this, where this other person did, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, like it's, it's, it's not about, you know what I'm saying, your, your, yourself in comparison to the next man. Because the next man got a totally different life, back background story, everything. You know what I'm saying? It has no correlation with the next man. You know what I'm saying? Unless they make that correlation on a personal level or something like that, you know, with work or whatever, projects and stuff, th things of that nature in life. But, you know, aside, aside from that, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's no reason for any of that. You know, that, that's what's cool to somebody. You know what I'm saying? If that's what um, anybody find appealing, they, they think a person, a man, should be at a certain level of success or, or you know, anything like just to be at a certain altitude at a certain point. You know, that's their perspective and their opinions. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, if you're not trying to appeal to that person that's judging you, then they shouldn't, you know, they, they, I mean, that's it. There ain't nothing else to talk about, you know. That's, it's like, what, you know, it's like, why? Why are you worried about it, you know? I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to appeal to you. I'm, I'm living like a normal person, trying to get myself together like you should be doing, just like every other person on this earth, you know, just trying to get, get it right and trying to be somebody, you know, or, or help somebody else to be somebody or, be, or, or see who they already are. You know, and be who we already are. I put it like that, not be somebody. You know, but that's what it is. You know, um, it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? That ain't about. It's not about, you know, uh, trying to appeal to nobody and trying to be a, a, a society's idea of success. You know, uh, or, you know, reach or be um, over, you know, or achieve all this stuff for somebody else's. You know, approval or validation. It's not about that. 